Lesson 3, the application in FrameWin classes. To prepare for this lesson, please download the MFC Lesson 1 project from the Zoax.net website. In our MFC Lesson 2, we cover the document view classes as part of the DocView architecture of MFC. When you look at a basic MFC program, you'll see that the view represents what is called the client area in a program, and the document's data is displayed inside this area. Now the other main part of the architecture is the frame window, which represents the outer main window of an application. There's only one frame window, whether the application is an SDI or an MDI. All of the views and documents are contained inside this frame window. The frame window manages many things fundamental to the program, such as the min, max, and close buttons, the program menu bars and toolbars, and the status bar. Open up the MFC Lesson 1 solution and then double click the mainframe.cpp file. This class, cMainframe, is derived from the cFrameWin class. We will get into more detail in a future lesson, but just know that in this class, in the pre-create window and the onCreate functions, you can change such things as the window styles, toolbars and status bars, and the menu bar and menus. The other important item to note about the MFC architecture is that when an MFC application starts, the entry point is always the application class. Open the Lesson1.cpp file. This class CLesson1App is the application class, and it is derived from CWinApp. This class represents the application thread, and there is only one instance of it running for every program. It is in the application class that the document view and frame window classes are set up and connected to each other. Scroll down to the init instance function. This function is called to initialize the application before it's available to the user. An important piece of code to look at here is the creation of the C single doc template. This is an SDI object and can support only one type of document. See our MFC lesson 2 for more information on SDI versus MDI. Here the constructor for C single doc template is called and we pass in four objects. IDR mainframe, the resource ID for the menus and accelerators, the document, the frame window, and the view of this application. The runtime class macro creates objects from the class names passed into it and returns a pointer to that object. These pointers are then passed into the C single doc template constructor, which will connect them together for the duration of the program's running. So for instance, whenever the view makes a call to retrieve a document, it will get the document that was sent into the C single doc template with it here. The other important code in the init instance function is the call for the main window to show and update itself. After these calls, the user can see and interact with the main window of the program. Now we've briefly summed up the doc view architecture and covered how an MFC application starts and gets running. This concludes the lesson.